Hello and welcome to my channel. I hope you are doing well. Let's talk about airdrops. Uh, previously, Camino Finance, which is on Solana, they announced that they are going to take their season one snapshot on March 31st, and then they will start distributing the Genesis KMNO tokens in April. Um, because they announced that they are going to take a snapshot in the future, a lot of uh, whales started farming point system. And just because everything was known and because whales can come in, in later with a bigger, deeper pockets and they can farm a lot of points very quickly, Camino Finance announced that they are going to do the distribution linearly. So it really doesn't matter if you're an old user or you're just coming in now with a bigger, deeper pockets. That caught a kind of a backlash and Camino Finance, they, well, they listened to it and they said, well, they are going to have a separate airdrop, which is for OG. So people who have been using the platform the longest and for long period of time and before the snapshot one announced, they will be considered OG. I don't know the specific criteria, but that 7% of community allocation will go to the OGs. So I hope now people will be happy because we still have little over two weeks to farm the points and then we will see. The other airdrop that we know is coming very soon is Parcel. They have not announced the date of their snapshot. I think this is for the best. Okay, I also want to talk about Wormhole. Uh, something was wrong with their uh, eligibility checker and now they have fixed it. And many of the users who recheck their different wallets, they are eligible either for more airdrops or the wallets that were previously not eligible, um, they are not eligible. So I will suggest please go ahead and check your wallets. And they also put it in their criteria how the airdrops is working. They are 400,000 wallets, more than that actually, that are eligible and that is eligible for almost little less than 7% of the total supply. All right. They also talked about how they are detecting civil or large uh, chunks of the large cluster of wallets. One thing that I think is very interesting is I want to show you this. So we talked about like not if you're using the wallet for airdrop farming, don't make them interact with each other. So don't send fund between the wallets. But it is also important to note if you are using exchange address, so for example, you're using a centralized exchange like Binance, KuCoin, or anything else, and you are setting up a different number of wallets, 20, 50 wallets, and you are always sending the same number of tokens to all those wallets at the same almost time, and then you are doing the same set of activities after that, then they will be uh, considered civil. Let's look at this example. This is an exchange address and there are six addresses, six wallet addresses. Look, exchange is sending six um, tokens to dif uh, six different wallets and the wallet A and B are little different. They are doing action A and wallet B is doing action B. But wallet C to E, these four wallets are doing the same action, action D. So in that case, this is considered a cluster and this will be considered a Sybil. So make sure when you are withdrawing to an exchange, either give them a break, don't withdraw to all the wallets at the same time, and also try to randomize the activity. Don't just try to form the same thing again and again. Um, and basically you have to avoid patterns because patterns are very easy to detect. All right, this one is related to warm home. Uh, remember I told you that you can check your warm home eligibility now, but somebody has created this whole um, easy way to check it if you have multiple wallets definitely people like to check multiple wallets and you you can just put in your wallet address enter start a new line put a next address and then you can check all of them together uh, without even having to connect your wallet so this is an easy way uh, please go ahead and check it out don't miss out any wallets it's a free airdrop i hope you enjoyed this video if you did don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. I will see you soon. Happy investing.